you're looking at a new innovation called a double-acting hydraulic ram pump. It's loosely based on the historic hydraulic ram pump that uses the motive power of streams to create shock waves to lift water to a much higher level. The difference is that here we've put two of those back to back in a U-tube arrangement to lift water from deep below ground and pressurise it at the surface. The double acting hydraulic ram is essentially a fluidic gear and while it may look fairly complicated to start with, it is actually just based on some simple fundamental principles. For instance, we've managed to replace more or less all of the moving parts within the ram with shock waves which means that the ram itself has no dynamic seals. It also means that it can be manufactured from cheap materials to low tolerances and it's capable of an efficiency of in excess of 90%. Now the experimental rig you're looking at here is very much the alpha prototype version of the double acting hydraulic ram. It's a proof of concept rig. Now let's explain a little bit more about the rig itself, starting with the drive system at the top there. Now the drive system is not actually part of the ram itself, but the ram does need something to drive it, so we've gone for this rather simple manual arrangement here. The ram is very well suited to a number of low frequency input sources however, such as uh, human power, for example treadle pumps, um, the output from solar heat engines or even wind turbines. Elsewhere we have two separate inlet reservoirs, a single outlet connected to a pressure accumulator to give a more steady output and the shuttle run. The shuttle run contains the only moving part in the ram besides the non-return valves, that is an object that blocks the flow. Now if I pull down on the right hand side piston, the object blocks the flow and we get a water hammer effect. This sends an expansion wave upwards and a compression wave downwards. Water is then subsequently drawn in from the top reservoir, the inlet, and discharged through the outlet. I can then reverse the stroke by pulling down the left hand side piston blocking the flow in the other direction. This now generates a compression wave upwards and expansion wave downwards. Water is discharged through the outlet in the same manner as before but this time, water is drawn in from the other inlet reservoir. Here you can see the lower inlet reservoir and the compression shocks entering the outlet pressure accumulator. If we stop the inlet reservoir from being refilled, you can also see the expansion shocks drawing the water in more clearly. and the same at the top inlet reservoir. This is the pressure being measured at the outlet flow and even this proof of concept design is pumping comfortably at 20 meters of head. The shocks being measured are in the region of 40 bar and this should make it possible to go much much higher in pressure or even much, much deeper underground. The flow rate you're seeing here is very typical of this device. And if you're thinking, yes, but what about the noise problem? Well, the uh, noise generating part is going to be hidden deep underground and therefore it's not going to be a problem.